Thank you, Ms. Keraltz. Again, good evening, board members. Uh, for this evening's Accent on Academics, Bethel Manor Elementary School will share about their Anchored for Life Club. Bethel Manor has a unique student population with almost 100% of students being military connected. The school's Anchored for Life Club provides students with the tools and language to work through times of transition. Facilitated by students, this peer-to-peer -peer club focuses on positive supports, encouragement, and life skills for all youth, especially our military students. Ms. Chrissy Wagner, uh, Bethel Manor Elementary Principal, will now provide additional details. Ms. Wagner. Good evening, Madam Chair, board members, and Dr. Shandor. I am excited to share Bethel Manor's Anchored for Life program with you tonight. As you may know, Bethel Manor has a unique student population with almost 100% of our student, students being military connected. With that population comes many strengths and different challenges. This school year, we have implemented an Anchor for Life program at Bethel Manor. And Anchor for Life has provided our students with the tools and language to work through those challenges and support one another through times of transition. The Anchored for Life Club partners with the U.S. military to support all youth with an emphasis on our military-connected dependents or our students. It is facilitated by students who are known as team leaders, some who are with me tonight, and along with the assistance of Mrs. Carducci, our school counselor. That's me. Good evening. I'm Sherry Carducci, the school counselor at Bethel Manor. I have had the privilege of facilitating the Anchored for Life Club with some really amazing kids this year. Um, as Ms. Wagner shared, this program is an amazing support for our students and is predominantly student-led by eight team leaders of fourth and fifth grade students. Our team leaders are committed to assisting students through transition and building a strong community with acts of service. We have several of our Anchor for Life students with us here today who will be sharing with you guys some more details about the program club. Good evening, my name is Charlotte and I'm a fourth grader at Bethel Manor. As a team leader, we welcome all new families to Bethel, Bethel Manor on their first day and give personal tours to each new student and their families. Two team leaders are assigned one day each week so everyone has a chance to give tours to our new students. We also give, we also give students a welcome kit with everything you'll see listed on the screen. My name is Emmy and I'm also a fourth grader and one of the team leaders. We show the students all of the important places in the building like the cafeteria and our resource rooms. And then we end at their classroom where they meet their teacher. When a student is moving from Bethel Manor, we also give them a moving kit to make the transition a little bit easier. Moving kits are very important for students because military kids move a lot. We want them to have memories to take with them and feel supported by their Bethel Manor family. Hi, my name is Torrance and I'm in fifth grade. As team leaders, we also support our peers by providing two other important kits, the deployment kits and the together again kits. Deployments are hard on military kids and we, and we, and we help them support them through the journey. When we give them the kit, we tell them what's inside and we understand what they're going through. They can come to us or Ms. Carducci if they need to talk. Together Again Kids help students and their families when a parent returns from deployment. Both deployments are, and homecomings are big adjustments. These kits help students know that they are not alone in what they're going through. The best part of the kits, in my opinion, is Cuzzy the Bear. His name is Cuzzy because he cares. <laughs> My name is Declan, and I, and I am in fifth grade. As a team leader, we also share character development quotes from historical figures, authors, scientists, or even ourselves to motivate, to motivate all students at Bethel Manor. Our Anchored for Life team leaders take turns sharing Monday motivation quotes on ENN, our school morning show. Most kids need a little boost of brightness on a Monday morning. One of my favorite quotes that we've shared is, Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Addie is one of our team leaders who couldn't make it tonight. She will be sharing what Anchor for Life means to her. 
I love Anchored for Life because I like to help others and Anchored for Life lets me provide help for kids who need it. We help children when they are disappointed because of a move or deployment. We also help if they're excited about a parent returning from deployment. Our different kids help kids cope with anything that has happened, good or bad. My name is Addie Unger and those are the reasons I love Anchored for Life. My name is Suri and I'm in fifth grade. I'd like to share with you more about the service projects that we complete at Bethel Manor this year. Anchor for Life clubs are encouraged to complete one service project per year to support community service. This year we completed two projects. In the fall, we did a holiday card drive. Students at Bethel Manor make cards for deployed service members. We partnered with our military liaison, Ms. Edwards, to have these cards sent overseas. This project allowed all students to support the Anchor for Life program and service project. Our second service project was a pet supply drive for Animal Aid Society. Animal Aid Society is a nonprofit organization that provides care and shelter to dogs in need of new homes. The Anchored for Life team leaders worked together to come up with the idea, make posters, and collect donations at school. People were very generous, and we had so many donations of food, dog beds, toys, blankets, and other supplies for the shelter. We were even able to deliver our own donations to the shelter and meet some of the dogs once our supply drive was over. My favorite dog was Meatball. Yes. <laughs> Anchored for Life is a great support program for Bethel Manor students, and this month is the perfect time to share it with you all, as April is the month of the military child. Did you know that the official flower of the military child is the dandelion? Like the dandelion, military kids are strong, we are resilient and adaptable, but we are still kids. This is where Anchored for Life comes in, as a support for kids like us. As team leaders in the Anchored for Life Club, we use our strengths to encourage each other and all Bethel Manor students. Like Danny Lunge, military children can bloom everywhere the wind carries us. And right now, we are blooming at Bethel Manor. Thank, Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our presentation. So on behalf of the Anchored for Life um, Club, our students are going to present our board members with a gift. It includes an Anchored for Life ball cap, um, a military connected bracelet, as well as a book about lending their father if their father were to go on a deployment. So we appreciate your support. Thank you. And we're here for questions if you might have any, even though the, the um, team leaders may be a little nervous on behalf of those questions. Come here. Exactly, come back here. <laughs> They thought they were done. Yes. <laughs> Board members? So uh, just a quick question. I'm a new student to the school, um, and I'm in fifth grade. Who's the first one I'm going to meet? You tell them it depends on the day of the week. It depends on the day of the week that you come. OK. I come on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, if you come on a Monday, then me and Emmy will give you a tour around the school. Very nice, and you give me the new little kit and yeah. everything, and welcome me. Oh, that's very nice, very nice. We, sh we should really do that at our, all of our schools, but this is one of the schools that we do have a lot of transition at, more so than any of them. So thank you for doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Great job. How many kits have you put together? A lot. <laughs> um, I would say hundreds, because yeah. they get kits when we have kids move in, mm -hmm. move out, are deployed, or have a homecoming. Um, so a lot. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite part of the Anchored for Life program? Oh, that's hard. Torrance, go ahead. You can tell. Okay. <laughs> the one I told Sure. You. Yeah. 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 Okay. She's adjusting her stool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think this still broke. No, it's not broken. Here we go. It was your turn. Yep. <laughs> okay. So maybe probably the best part about Anchor for Life is having the meetings and getting to know each other and having to see the smiles on people's faces, knowing to get the kits and understand what they're going through. So what's your favorite part of the tour? <laughs> Cafeteria or gym? <laughs> 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 so, 
So I have a unique perspective. I was like you. I was a military child, and then I was an Army officer, so I, I, I didn't receive any kits, but <laughs> I knew that sometimes deploying was a challenge, but returning from a deployment, right, coming back could be very challenging. So what you guys are doing is very, very important, and thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.